September 16, 2022, Memorial of Saints Cornelius, Pope, and Cyprian, Bishop, Martyrs, Saint of the Day, Saint Cornelius. Today's readings. First reading, a reading from the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. Now if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you be saying that there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ cannot have been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is without substance. And so is our faith. What is more, we have approved to be false witnesses to God for testifying against God that He raised Christ to life when He did not raise Him, if it is true that the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither is Christ. And if Christ has not been raised, our faith is pointless and you have not, after all, been released from your sins. In addition, those who have fallen asleep in Christ are utterly lost. If our hope in Christ has been for this life only, we are of all people the most pitiable. In fact, however, Christ has been raised from the dead as the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit attend to my outcry, hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me. O oh God, incline your ear to me. Hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O oh Savior of those who flee from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I in justice shall behold your face on waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. And now it happened that after this, he made his way through towns and villages, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. With him went the twelve, as well as certain women, who had been cured of evil spirits and ailments. Mary surnamed the Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Cusa, Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their own resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection From the beginning of his ministry, Jesus has been gathering a community of disciples for himself. The Gospel of today makes it clear that Jesus included not only men but also women in this community. These Galilean women will be mentioned again by St. Luke where they will stand at some distance from Golgotha witnessing the death of Jesus, then present at the time of burial of Jesus, and in the morning of Easter Sunday they will go to embalm the body of the Lord. Today's Gospel states that these women had experienced healing from Jesus. After experiencing the grace of God in their lives, they dedicated their life to the service of God. For whatever they had received from Jesus, they were now devoted to His service and service to support Jesus' ministry. 
They gave whatever they could give, and they did whatever they could do. These women offer a model for us to become disciples of Jesus that we should be willing to open ourselves to receive the grace of Jesus and be filled with His blessings. We have found a lot of graces and blessings in our life, so let us also learn to give what we have got. Jesus assures for those who give in return for what they have received, they will get more. Give and more will be given to you.